Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Aquarius, it's time for your daily reading. It's L here. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. All I keep hearing is clap for the heavyweight champ. Me. So some of y'all out there winning, okay? No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Okay, I feel you. That's what's up. Right. Anyhow, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. And I might have butchered those lyrics, but anyway, you guys get the picture. Um, let's let's get into it. Let's start with. So it's funny they want us to start with the Kipper. All right. So let's see. These are fortune telling cards. So that means it, it tells of the future, or tells of what's to come. Right. So let's talk about it. All right, let's see. Aquarius, fortune. Let's see what is to come for the Aquarius. All right, let's see what's happening for the Aquarius. Some of you are really weaving a, a very um, intric intricate web of, of abundance, finance. If you see spiders, you know, it, it could foretell that, you know, abundance, prosperity, money is coming for you. Yeah, unexpected income. Okay. So unexpected income. So this is money that you get, uh, you earn it, but it was so unexpected. It was like, okay, I didn't know that I was going to get the opportunity to earn this money. Let's see. Courthouse. This may come from a judgment, a settlement. Uh, something you know resolving in your favor this is really good maybe you'll get what what more than what you thought you would get more than what you're owed is what i'm hearing right now is what's going on is some petty pesky paper pushing you know this person's assigned this and that's you know you know it, it, papers crossing different desk right um so that's what the hold up is for some of you so this could be happening in the near future. What else do we have? Main mail. Okay. You may get an unexpected phone call also from a main mail. So this is not your man or yeah, it's not your man. Um, but he plays a, a significant part in your life. This person has some petty pesky details that maybe they had to clear up before they could come to you. They had to reinvent themselves. With the main male coming up as a one. Let's see. What else? And, and this could be you, Aquarius male. Let's see. What is going on in the near future? What's going on in the... Okay. Toil and labor. Yeah, some hard work. Um, what you're manifesting is going to take hard work. It is hard work. Uh, but it's going to be well worth it. You know, it, um, some of you, this could have been a relationship where it was hard to maintain it. It was hard to stay in it. There was off and on. It was hot and cold. This could have been like a twin flame type of soulmate relationship. You had lesson to learn. They had lesson to learn. All of that stuff. We've got the privileged lady in the journey. Somebody's going on their own journey. These two are not counterparts. You may have somebody in your life that you want to be in your life or they want to be in your life. But you guys just don't match. It's not a match. The privileged lady the journey some of you may be taking a journey or a trip by something that has wheels locomotive a uh, car train something like that i heard a safari some of you are able to travel able able to get up and go able to do what you want 
able to make moves somebody else you know their maybe their money comes funny they do day labor pesky work i don't know okay so now we have main female and distant horizons so it could be that again some of you wanted this relationship or the other person wanted this relationship or the both of you did it's like you both are coming up very different you also could be dating someone who's already married couple they had to clear something up they had to make something official and maybe that's why they were dealing with you very you know um maybe very one word you know maybe no yes they were very kind of um standoffish cold because they were dealing with something that something that they needed to clear up it did not involve you you could not help them with this or you can't help them you can't help them with this in the near future it's like you both have plans there needs to be some growth some spiritual growth either for you or your person like somebody needed to go on their own journey here to learn spiritual growth to learn the meaning of love of relationships of giving of friendship somebody was just really all about themselves some of you are going to get your wish fulfillment within this person you know from this person in the distant horizons but they have to clear some things up right now so it may seem as if you're by yourself or you're never going to get it but you will let's see i knew it twin flames coming out we just said that yin yang balance complement each other this relationship was hard work because maybe somebody was already in a relationship or someone just didn't want to give to the fact that you guys were meant to be together or at least grow together do something in this lifetime together you share a, a soul flame a, a connection both very nice receiving what you need progression moving on and closure issues if, again it feels like maybe your person has to close something out move on and then they can come to you they can get in the boat and sail to you you're going to get what you want in the distant horizons it may take some time but um you know hang in there have faith that you you'll get what you want yeah paradise happiness expansion joy playfulness enjoying each other you will be able to do that once your person clears something up it could be legal this could be getting a divorce separation figuring out yeah um, money issues you know figuring out the division of assets what you know what they're doing how things will go what else it, it looks like once they figure that out then they can come to you they can be with you they can make something real let's see uh, right now you stand alone but I don't, I don't feel like it's for long yeah ascending transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union yeah your person is you are preparing for union getting over the hurdles and the obstacles that are in their way currently you know um new phase some of you are preparing for that your person is let's see what else wow kisses unconditional loving giving receiving affection falling in love this is beautiful aquarius it just looks like you know maybe your person gotta clear something up you have to clear it up um we did have that Nicki minaj song come up it's like you know y'all are winning out here um no you're not lucky you blessed this is what you pray for wow your person could have been the chaser you know this could have been a codependent relationship fear of abandonment somebody just didn't want to let someone go you know um, somebody needs to let someone go so that they can grow you know so that they can come back to you better the relationship can actually have progression yeah some of you need to separate you need to break up and then you know possibly come back together what else do we want to tell Aquarius it seems like it's a love reading uh, so let's see what else the cards want to tell Aquarius What do the cards want to tell Aquarius? You could have been the chaser. The person was chasing you. Whomever. It just seems as if it was codependent. You know, somebody kept you hanging in there. Giving you just enough so you can run behind them. So now we have the Eight of Swords showing up. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um... 
if you deal with this person before they actually mature, you're just going to get stuck there. And you're going to feel like this is what I get for being a good person, for having a good heart, for caring. The Eight of Swords says the air of being good natured. So it's the era or the when you get something, you know, that you don't want because of your good nature, because of your good heart. So don't get to a place. Don't let somebody pull you in, in, in stuck energy or, or keep you there or keep you in your mind or keep you chasing or keep you wondering. Um, someone wants you to, you know, all they have right now is games, lies and manipulation. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you have, you have to let them grow. And the only way they can do that is without you. As long as you're there, there's no growth. Um, maturity. Finish what you start. It's not over. It won't be over between the two of you. It's just like restriction. The universe is putting restriction on the both of you so you can grow. So This is the gestation period. The ascending card came out preparing for union. And that's what the both of you need to do. Especially, I feel like some of you, your partner needs to do that greatly. Like they need to go somewhere, fix themselves, and then come back. But they can't do that with you in their life. It's like, well, why would I fix myself? You're already here. Like you're not going nowhere, you know? So you have to put that absence, that, uh, yeah, absence between you and that person. Absent makes, absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? Yeah, can't make it up. Four swords came out. You got to put some distance between you and this person. You have to separate and think about what the future holds. You have to, and this is a temporary separation with the four of swords. Uh, it's a healing also. Excuse me, the relationship is fragile. It's all over the place. It could fall apart at any given point because you're on edge, they're on edge. That's why it's like separate. You know, the universe is like separate. Just separate. Let's see. Yeah. Do nothing. High priestess, especially if you are a feminine energy. Do nothing right now. Don't give. Just know. Just be in, in, in knowing. Wait for a divine message. You know, wait for a divine intervention. You know that a decision has to be made. So that's when you go in. And you cut away. So you know that you have to cut yourself away. Or you got to cut this person away from you for now. It's not, you know, that it's over for good. It's just that you don't need to be readily accessible to this person. Because they'll never grow. It's a codependent relationship. We had the chaser there. What else? The hermit can't make this stuff up. You, you really have to separate. Your person may be working on some negative karma also, or they need to have a transition in their personality because their personality is messed up. And that could be, you know, in totality, how they just look at life, period, their philosophy on life, paying bills, uh, relationships, raising children, everything is jacked. You know, their whole mentality is jacked. So they need to go within. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's see. What else do we have? What else do we want to tell Aquarius? Ace of Wands. Yeah, put more energy, effort, time into you. Motivation into you. Working out. Looking good. Um, hearing from spirit. Cosmic energy. Okay. Um, passion. Find a passion. Find a passion project. This will occupy your time and your mind. Especially with you cutting your person away or you you know taking a step back it's going to be a void there right it's going to be nothing there so now you have to fill that void it says get something to do occupy your time your space your mind you know it, if you you can't it's like um when the the addict cuts out you know the drug or alcohol that they were addicted to they have to it's, you know have to replace that with something have to replace that with you know working or working on themselves or getting a job or making amends or actually finding a hobby um sometimes you'll see addicts go from you know their drug of choice to now they they always drinking a coca-cola or you know now they're smoking cigarettes excessively like i don't know you they don't you use know, in life <clears throat> that's just how it happens you know people have to you have to fill the void so if there was a codependent relationship addiction here and you're going to cut this person off or you're going to wean yourself off of them, you have to fill that void with something or you'll just go back. Definitely could be dealing with a Virgo here, the Ten of Pentacles. 
um, someone who was married, a couple, still has something to figure out, get get away from. Also, you need to work on some long-term goal achievement. Um, maybe even your your uh, your career, your reputation, becoming an expert, expertise. Work on maybe um, maybe some life goals, saving money, creating a legacy for your family. Uh, says write a wheel with the ten of pentacles okay uh, some of you just need to focus on things that you know are surrounding your finances thus far and then also some of you just need to focus on um, getting to a place of the ten of pentacles where you know you have wealth affluence you know opulence uh, and over overflow and, and over abundance of also, it says that you need to put more time into your long-term goals, whatever they may be, with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles coming out. It also says stay home in the Ten of Pentacles. And if some of you, if you don't like the family you were born into, go make your own Ten of Pentacles. It says that you're, you know, happy, 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 organized people, create empires, leave legacy. So you know what you need to be, firstly, happy and organized to do that okay let's wow ten of cups very nice maybe seeing ten ten cycle is ending uh the wheel has turned the wheel of fortune has turned for you this is time for you to take you know grab hold of that abundance of that fortune of what is meant for you what has been in the cosmos in the in the universe all of that money all of that you know wealth affluence uh whatever take hold of it call it back into yourself you know because it's there for you the ten of cups um it says fortune now after your difficult period a family member may even come to you and try to you know um maybe do business with you or pitch you a business you know venture it says it's okay to do it, but make sure you look over the details of uh, this venture here. It also says calling truce in a family. It's funny because the Ten of Pentacles says if you don't like the family you were born into, go create your create your own. And the Ten of Pen and the Ten of Cups says um, calling a truce within a family. So maybe you'll you guys will come. You know, let some the Hatfields and the McCoys come to you know a damn. It all settle. The dust will settle, right? Wow. The world. Some of you are about to be married or come into, um, you know, some of you could marry into money. The Ten of Pentacles talks about that. A, a family having abundance. Some of you are about to really ascend. We have that card come out really like you're preparing for union. Something is coming full circle. Everything that you pray for is coming to you with that distant horizon card. It's right there. Reach out and grab it. Make sure that you're working on your goals, short term and long term, each and every day. Don't let it fall by the wayside. Let's see. What else do we want to tell Aquarius? This is a, this is a phenomenal reading. Wow. Wow. Eight of Wands in the Sun card. Obstacles being removed. We we saw that in the other cards. Obstacles, transcending obstacles. Obstacles being removed. Life happening at a fast pace. Law of attraction. I just talked about calling in back to you that wealth. For the wealth of the, the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Some of you, this has a transference of wealth with the Ten of Pentacles. So some of you... Your wealth is about to, you're about to, you know, it's coming from something else or somebody else. You know, somebody's been in the sun too long as now it's their turn. The wheel turns on everybody. Um, You could have been dealing with a Sagittarius and you have Sagittarius, you know, heavy in your chart. Um, There's some karma that somebody got. You're getting your karma. It looks like it could, it could be very well good karma.
this is time. It's like the universe is going to align some things for you. This is time for you to take action. Like not to sit on your hands and wonder and think and I'm waiting for another sign. No, take action. The sun card. This is a happy, joyous time in your life. Some of you could be getting married, getting proposed to. Wow. As I say that, I flip over the deck and we have the emperor. Some of you will make the proposal to and some of you will get proposed to by the emperor. This is a very fruitful, abundant time in your life. The sun time in your life or the summer time in your life to where everything is blossoming, growing, you know, um, this is beautiful, Aquarius. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You could have it in your chart. I don't know. Don't get hung up on the signs. If it resonates, it resonates, right? Um, the sun card also. Pregnancy. Marriage. Fun times. Some of you could be traveling to a sunny place. Watch out if you don't want to be pregnant. If that's still an option for you. Let's see what else. Uh, let's close it out with the Butterfly Oracle deck. Let's see. This is a really good reading. My right foot is itching the bottom of my right foot. Some of you about to travel. Some of you are on the right path too. You're doing the right thing. That's good. Self-care. Take some time for yourself. Make sure you're checking in with yourself, asking you, how do I feel about that? Heavenly signs. I've just talked about that. Some of you just don't wait. The signs are here. Finances are going to become, you know, you can have an overflow and abundance. Stick to what you're doing. Stay at it. Okay. Um, we, we have that unexpected income. So you'll have like, the opportunity to gain money <laughs> windfall came out wow money is definitely coming to you family changes this talks about someone moving in moving out buying a cat buying a dog buying a house getting married getting divorced getting this getting i mean like something that would affect more than just one person so family changes this is a beautiful reading aquarius i want well i don't need to do that i was going to clarify finances but then windfall came after it so it looks like you're going to have a windfall of good luck money energy all of that abundance of this is a beautiful reading aquarius it was very simple to the point it i feel like for some of you it just solidified where you are what you're doing um okay. yeah where you are what you're doing eight of pentacles um Continue to work on yourself. Be prudent with your money. Make sure it's working for you. Make sure you're looking at where things are going. Checks and balances. Continue the wash, rinse, repeat cycle, especially if you have a new business, especially if you're working on something. Be the wheel. You have to make it go, right? And then you can be the nine of pentacles where it just works, you know, because you did all of this work. Could be a workaholic right now. You could have Virgo in your chart could be dealing with a Virgo you've given chance after chance on something or in a relationship or about something it says if you're working keep at it uh because uh you're making this um you're putting out this energy to the universe it's going to be matched like a 401k match you know um you're putting your energy out there and the universe is going to match you even better you know um save your money store up your money get your reserves in order this talks about marriage and late marriage and travel later in life and we talked about that some of you can be traveling some of you can meet someone with the eight of wands while you're traveling you can meet the person you're going to marry um Somebody could be thinking about you over and over again, or you're thinking about this person over and over again. Yep. Somebody's thinking about you over and over again. Page of Swords. Yep. Just wondering what you're doing, how you're doing it. Just trying to see what you're up to. I'm prompted to pull one of these cards. Let's see. These are, these are some toxic cards. 
Like, but there's some good ones mixed in here. But these are some time. okay. Yeah. So someone wants to say to you, I'm about to text you or call you. Okay. Okay. They want to talk to you. And then there's another person who's saying, you should probably run away from me. They know that they don't have much to offer you. Okay. So you got some, you know, opposites. Some of you just need to, as we talked about, put some distance and some time, some space in between you and your person so that there can be maturity. And that's why they're saying you should probably run away from me. And then there's someone here who's saying, I'm about to text you or call you. We did see that come up with the unexpected income. Sometimes that could uh, also speak to an unexpected message coming towards you too. Um, all right, one more card. One more card for the Aquarius. Let's see. So somebody's about to call you. To call, they, they're thinking about you over and over again. I don't know if this is a, a call you want from, you know, I don't know. Yeah, somebody doesn't take breaks between relationships ending. So somebody just bounces around. Could be you. It could be the other person. So somebody just doesn't, you know, end a relationship, take a break, heal, try to think about what part you played in the ending. Um, you know, try to let the emotions subside. Somebody's just like broke up with somebody on Monday and then with somebody on Wednesday, you know. It's a beautiful read in Aquarius. For some of you, the condition of being successful or thriving, especially ec economic w uh, well-being, uh, prosperity. Some of you are experiencing prosperity or you will be. It's a beautiful, beautiful reading. Some of you are going to marry into money. This is a beautiful reading. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, if you have questions like, um, should I take a break? Should I tell this person to that we need to take a break? Should I wean myself off this person? Uh, are my finances going to get better? Uh, if you have questions like that, go get your own personal reading at the website level. Go to the community tab here on YouTube. Get, get a discount code and then head over to the website and book your reading there. You can also um, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday where I answer your questions and I do a collective reading. Um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. I mean... No, you're not lucky. You're blessed. Okay, Aquarius, uh, many blessings to you. Take care. Uh, I will talk to you guys tomorrow.